into the Richie four. Richie so require 95. 140 from Richie's put him in a good position here. It will be a holder throw. Yep, double eight's the target. Game and the target the is found. Leg, Richie Bernard. Well, maybe he has been practicing for those last few days. Double ten for the match. Game shot. Tidily the done. Richie Burnett. By Richie Burnett. So there goes our first match of the evening. Richie Burnett has two days off. We wondered what he'd be like when he came back. And he gives a little dance. His young ladies in the crowd. Uh, here come the averages. Just shy of 90. People dropped off a little on 80, but it was all about that. Big shot to break the leg, that double nine. We'll take a short break and we'll be back with you with another game from Andy Davison and Mark Dubridge. Andy, you require 78. Well, obviously, I'm a lot older than you, so my practice regime would be very different, relying on mental. Game shot on the first leg, the Andy Davidson. Tidy finish. 27. And puts it right on the fire, Andy, just you the same. 20. You can't see this being missed. Game shot and the absolutely match. spot on. Andy Davidson. Andy Davidson takes the match 4 0. Dubridge really didn't get going there and get a chance to use his experience. Andy Davidson was on top of him and was in a 2 0 lead within minutes. A 91 average to boot. As you can see from Dubridge there, really didn't play his game. But Andy Davidson won't be worried about that. He's through. He's won 4 0. So he's got points on the board in his group. We'll head off to a short break and we'll be back with Killian McCormack versus Jimmy Vansky. It was on the half as the week went Jimmy. through, whereas Jimmy seemed to start struggling slightly. But I'm just wondering, with the support that Jimmy's got in the crowd, whether that's just going to lift him. He's been here before, he's won a week, and he does like to uh, perform. I think we might see a bit of performance here from Jimmy Vansky. We'll soon know if Jimmy hits this or not, I think. Yeah, I think they might hear it back in Holland. And there you hear the roar Jimmy of the crowd Bansky. as Jimmy does find 32. 20. And this is where it can Jimmy, be difficult five. to have a crowd in on your back for Vansky. This, could, this is where it makes it difficult, but you have to believe that you got yourself in it and you can get yourself out of it. Game shot on the match. Yeah, and get himself Jimmy out of it. He did in the end, and it is a 4-1 victory for Jimmy Vansky. Good appreciation between the pair of them after that. Disappointment, obviously, for Killian McCormack, although you wouldn't know it with him dancing on the stage like that. I think uh, he's got a lot to take away from this experience, but there's your winner there, Jimmy Vansky. 81-43 in the end, 4 from 11. Bit of difficulty crossing the line in the end, but that's the main result. It's a 4-1 win to the Dutchman. And do join us after a short break because we'll see Mark Dubridge back in action and he'll be facing Shane McGurk. So McGurk under pressure again. Double 16 to get his first leg on the board. Game shot on the third leg. What pressure. Shane McGurk. What am I talking about? I thought he'd moved then. That one looked to just and just be hanging on, but... No problem for Flash on 180. Puts 78. Right back in it. Mark, you require 84. Yeah, despite the comeback from McGurk in the last couple of legs, I don't think Mark would be the type to panic about it. 52. He's still got the advantage of throwing. He's using it very well. Down to 32 and 12, but McGurk all the way back on 280. 100. Mark, you require 32. 32. Game shot on a fifth leg. Mark, Mark Dubridge, Dubridge there moves within one leg of victory over Shane McGurk. Go in, your hands are shaking. You've got to have that stock treble 20 in your repertoire. 165. And sometimes you've got to have a Shane, treble 15 with that as well. Yeah, great visit there from Mark Dubridge. Shane McGurk knows he 
He's in a precarious position here. Not just in this match, but in the group. Another one of those. And he was in business. Not to be. 72. Mark, you require 40. Is that a marker? Game shot. It most certainly is Mark a marker. Dubridge. And it is a win for Mark Dubridge. Flash finds a way. 4-3 victory over Shane McGurk. Keeps his hopes for a place in the semi-finals very much alive. I'm liking all the moves on the stage tonight as Mark uh, gives us a little dance just to show how happy he was with that victory. There's an 87-32, four from 12 on the outer ring and an 84-03 for Shane McGurk. But join us again after a quick break as we go back to Group 1 where Jimmy Van Schke takes on Richie Burnett for and a 2-0 lead. Part of Jimmy's game as well, he throws it with such force, he can kind of just creates his own path regardless of where the darts are. Yeah, he most definitely third, created his own Jimmy path Van there. 3-0 to Jimmy Van Ski with that 1-1-6 checkout. Van Ski, 25 to top the group. Yeah, just takes his time. It was a bit close to the 12, too close for comfort. But and the match, that is Jimmy perfectly Vansky. in the target, and it does go the way of Jimmy Van Schke. He comes out a 4 1 winner. He tops Group 1 with that victory over Richie Burnett. <laughs> yeah, just celebrating with his fans there. Absolutely delighted for them. Well, there you see the averages 93 23 for Jimmy Van Schke, 88, just a bit off the pace there, Richie Burnett. One from two, he was very good on the outer ring, but just didn't get there often enough. And it was Van Schke that emerged victorious. Well, we've got one more group game from Group Two to play, and that is Shane McGurk, and he'll be taking on Andy Davidson just after the break. Uh, 18, nobody did. We went 42 36. Game shot on a second leg. Two balls Shane of McGurk. shots in a row. Game shot on a third leg. Oh my word. Three in a row. McGurk in absolute dreamland. So he comes back. He's done all the hard work. Can he just finish it off? Game shot. He does indeed. Match. Shane McGurk. 4-0 win for Shane McGurk. He had all the pressure on him coming up to that board. You could only imagine. Andy Davidson looking there and going, whoo! And he, yeah, three bullseyes there, Shane McGurk. Three bullseyes. He puts the three fingers up. Lovely job. Look at those averages. 98.56 for McGurk and Andy Davidson followed him all the way with a 92 and the stats there four from six on the doubles and the 130 on the bullseye well that just set the match up so we'll head off into a short interlude and we'll be back with your semi-finals a Jimmy require found themselves in group b so they've played each other every single day 129 and he require 164. Right, shot so far this evening is 130 on the ball from McGurk, and it was nearly topped there. Oh, it was then nearly topped there as well by Andy Davison. These two just going at it, hammer and tongs. They're absolutely loving it. Roy smiles on both faces after their throw in. Yeah, and a real error there from Jimmy Van Schke. Just tried to use that dart, pulled it just in the nine. So wants to spurn a dart Ten. and give a chance to and Davidson to break the throat. 25. Indeed, he had a go at this earlier and missed it. And he's done the same again. He did the same at McGurk. Jimmy, you require eight. Comes off in there until the double goes in. And then the roar goes up. Game on. Just to hold a throw, but. 108! Comes Davison back. Sam, well, you've held your throat. 
You're going to have to do something to break mine. Here we go. Back to back. 180. No, oh, not to be. I thought it was on there for a moment. Davidson back in that treble 20 bed. Back to back 180s for Davidson. Can we dare to dream? We didn't dare to dream. 140. And he required 141. I have to say, even the Van Ski lads were on their feet then, the supporters, for the back to back 180s. Davison Roy Smile there. He's got to get his head back on this because Van Ski is and he right 96. up his exhaust pipe here. Oh, lovely player. finish. Lovely finish. What a game of darts this is. I wonder if he has to think about that combination before he throws it, just because of the pace between throws. Is that kind of a preconceived idea? My, dart, my eyes don't even focus that quickly, <laughs> let alone throw that quickly. What a hole of throw. Regardless of the and result. And he required 25. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, nicely done. Andy Davidson. Nicely done. Yeah. Vansky yeah. takes semi-final number one in an absolute ripper of a game. Andy Davison, you played your part, my mate. What a game of darts that was. This is what the Super Series brings. Super, super games from players that may not be your household name, but soon will be. What a game of darts that was. Jimmy goes and sees his fans there. They sure do love Jimmy. And there's the numbers, 94-3-2. And 98-9-1 for Andy Davison. He must feel like he's run over a black cat or something so far this evening. Four from nine from Jimmy Van Ski on the doubles. Three from eight from Andy Davison. But the tail of the tape is the all-important one. It's four to Jimmy Van Ski, three to Andy Davison. We head into a short break when we bring you semi-final number two. And more excitement, we hope. It's Shane McGurk taking on Richie Burnett. Yeah, McGurk once again in a good position to put himself down onto a finish. 108! Yeah, tidy from McGurk there. That's why those long points work so well in darts. They can you can put a 180 on a pinhead. Shane, you require 41. Again, lots of pressure on this. Game shot on a third that's much sharper there Shane from Shane McGurk. Don't be disappointed with that, Shane. Game shot on oh, a used the first two guys just nicely there, and Burnett knew how important that was. Yep, now looking at the 20 bed, finds the single for Ball, which has been so kind to him. 62. Not on this occasion. Richie, you require wow. 12. He's missed one. He's finally <laughs> missed one. <laughs> it's getting closer. It's not there, Rich. No. That one is. Semi-final number two goes Richie Burnett's way. He dominated Group A at the start of the week because he wanted to get to Saturday night. Once you get to Saturday night, he wants to make the final. He's done exactly that. Here are the averages in comparison to the other semi-final. Not quite there, but that won't worry Richie Burnett. He's through to the final with his 4-1 win. We will head off to a short break and we will return with that final Jimmy Vansky taking on Richie Burnett oh, I absolutely agree 64. but I think once you start doing these things and getting out of your normal routines and habit and, and, and not going for the shot you cause yourself a few problems 
Should be one dart now then at 32. Yeah! on the first leg, Jimmy Vansky. Anyway, a decent level, and I call it a nice arrogance when somebody's controlling the board. 105. Richie require 164. Oh, this is going to be big. That's not going to be big. 140. Jimmy, you require 16. Burnett. Jimmy Vansky, after what was a dodgy yeah, leg, then comes in with a 13 dart holder throw. Oh, pulls it into the five, so needs to find the treble 19 and does for double 19. 62. Richie, you require 40. Not to be the, this occasion here for Vansky. So Burnett, once again, back. Bring it within one. Double ten. This proved troublesome earlier on, but yeah, not this on time. The flag, Richie, Richie Burnett. He's hanging on in there. So Burnett comes back for the 16 and a chance to make it 3-3. Three, three. And boy, oh boy, has he worked hard to get back into this game, you have to say. 81. It's now Richie Vansky requires making 16. the mistakes. Game shot on the sick leg, Richie Burnett. And the Vansky fan. They've been entertainment as well this evening. The Vansky fans here at the live lounge. Yeah, arguably, you could say this really has been a game of two halves because Vansky just raced into that 3 0 lead, but Burnett's done everything in his power and capitalised on. Key moments where Vansky's made errors. Now we're at a level game, and you kind of called it. You thought it might go the way 81. of Vansky, but only just. And anything's now possible from this position. He needs more troubles yet. Spinette will come back with them. 60. And it gets to a point sometimes in these moments where you try to throw a little bit on the safe side. Well, you don't go a little bit too erratic, but then sometimes you're not attacking enough. And it's Van Ski at that moment in the game. 49. And I think for, to get the best out of Van Ski, he, because of the way he throws, you know, when he throws hard and aggressive, that's when you get his best results. Absolutely. 100. Last start. Dagger to the heart of Richie Burnett. Yeah, you feel a max is kind of required here for Burnett just to keep him within touching distance of Vanschke. 100. Concentration on his face as he throws Burnett and then the disappointment when he knows it's not got where it is. But Vanschke now shrugged his shoulders. He knows he's in. 25 coming in. 105. Super darts. 96 after 12. 100 per throw, basically, for the first four throws is all he could ask of himself. And that needed two 60. trebles to leave himself Jimmy a chance. So a minimum of six from here from Vansky. 96. Couldn't find the treble. So just looking to set up. He's going to try and leave double 18, 60. his favourite double. Sometimes a risky play, but has played off. You should back yourself a hit in that single 20, but these are edgy moments. They are edgy moments, but 96. he's been here before. Jimmy he knows the feeling. 36. So, double 18. Yeah. It's a win for Jimmy Vansky. He is your Series Jimmy 8 Vansky. Week 4 Jimmy. champion. What a game of darts it was. We felt it could be down to who had the dart, but Jimmy Vansky held his nerve in that final leg. He does the business. He heads to Champions Week. Richie Burnett may rue the chance, but what a man he's been this week. What a breath of fresh air, Richie Burnett. <laughs> what a breath of fresh air he's been for the Super Series, and we look forward to him being back. But tonight is all about this man, Jimmy Vansky, your Series 8, Week 
four winner. There are his fans. And now it's realized. Look at the averages there. 90 for Van Skeven, 97 for Burnett. And it's the three from 11 stats that's cost him. But we're now head down to a reaction to our winning champion, I think, with Chris Murphy. Jimmy Van Ski, a champion once again here at the Super Series. Jimmy, just, just try and sum up how you're feeling. <laughs> Mate, to be honest, um, after the start of this week, uh, I only played great like one day. And uh, I know I have to, like last time, I played the best darts in the finals night, and I think I've done it again. So, mate, this feeling, and of course the guys that are here, man. Thank you all, man. I appreciate this, will you? I appreciate it. How, how did this happen? How did you get so many fans here in Portsmouth? To be honest, mate, I was having a piss, I think, and, they, and they, uh, I went to the toilet. I saw them, I said, I'll be cheering for you. I said, come on then, guys. And then after that, when I won it, and I said, oh, I hope they come back. And I saw them here. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a wonderful night again. And see what happens. Oh, I'm over the moon. Just, just give us a, a word on the night itself. The games you've played, the final you played against Richard Burnett, he really came back at you. It was hard work, wasn't it? Hard earned. To be honest, when I came 2 0 in front, I think uh, I was a bit fortunate when uh, he missed the double and then I went 2 0 up to the break. I hold my own leg and then. I started thinking, it was in my mind, and that's my mistake. And then when I started off the last leg really good, and he just, uh, yeah, was a bit unlucky. Yeah, I, I'm happy to get over the line, mate. Yeah. Right, I'm going to let you have your moment, let them have their moment as well. If you just want to get there and take a bit of a run-up. And once again, for the second time here at the Moda Super Series, your weekly winner is Jimmy Van Ski. Jimmy, you can go and celebrate with your fans. Uh, Scott and Laura are joining me. Um, Scott, fantastic evening. The fans came out to see Jimmy Vansky. They've got what they wanted. Yeah, did I get a prediction right as well? He might win it by the odd leg at the end. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he was superb all night, and like I say, he bounced off the crowd, and that's what did it for him. And, and any player knows it's, it's lovely to have a crowd in with you, and uh, yeah, good for Jimmy. It absolutely was, and look, he's lapping it up, deservedly so. Yeah, very much so. You know, the noise in here has been absolutely brilliant, but what I will say, they've all been so respectful. Everyone's had their opportunity to play, and we did wonder, <laughs> as they go again, but we did really wonder, didn't we, how he'd perform in front of a crowd with the support, and wow, he's been absolutely outstanding tonight. Yeah, and it just shows that, you, Laura just said it, they started cheering for Andy Davidson, so even though... That table in particular had their favourites. They have been respectful and it's made for a great night, hasn't it? Look, we saw them applauding 180s from Richie Burnett as well. They're in the final, so that goes to show what a good bunch of people they are. And that's all you ask for. As a, as a player, you just want a bit of respect to allow you to play. It doesn't matter that you've got everybody's against you. Just, just let yourself play and that's what's happened tonight. Right, he got his moment. Let's just take a look at that moment. Jimmy Vansky winning the final there against Richie Burnett. Um, in incredible stuff. In getting through and he's been wanting this moment again he had that experience before and he really wants it again yeah absolutely and you know i just think for me he did struggle throughout the week at times and you could act you could visibly see him struggling at times but tonight everything just just fell into place and i think the key game for me was actually the first time he played richie Burnett. i think that really set a real firework underneath him he was like it, that belief that we know him to be you know to have so often you could just see it. He was strutting around the stage. There was a bit of peacockery. He was engaging with the crowd. And it was great to see. And you've just got to say, you know, many congratulations coming here and doing it two times in a row. That's no mean feat. And Scott, for Richie Burnett, Laura mentioned the way that Jimmy was strutting around. Um, in the end, Richie was really frustrated, wasn't in that final leg. 
Yeah, he was. I mean, I, th I thought he twisted a kneecap out or something at one point there. He, he kicked his leg back so high, and then I think he fell off the side of the hockey. And um, I was worried for his uh, for, for him getting injured there. But look, he's 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 such a class act. He's such a great person to be around. I really don't know many players within the game that that dislike him, and they, they've loved seeing him up here. The fans have loved seeing him up here tonight. And. And let's hope he decides he wants to come back and we give him an invite and, and I'd love to watch him again. This is a, a small arena in relative terms in comparison to Ali Pali and other big venues. But for Jimmy Van Ski, he's living a dream, isn't he? And he's done it twice now. Yeah, absolutely. And he, he said, that he, you know, he set out a stall. He wanted to be back here. He wanted to have another crack at Champions Week and he's done everything in his power to, to do so. Like you say... This, the Moda Super Series, what it has done for players like Tom Sykes, for players like Andy Davidson, for players like Jimmy Van Schie, it's given them that platform to be noticed, to have those opportunities, to play in front of cameras. And, you know, they want more and more of it. And obviously they're not all going to get it. And we saw that, you know, it was very close between him and Davidson, and, uh, who absolutely played fantastic himself tonight. But it was Jimmy that did the, it did the damage and did the business, and it's him back at Champions Week. Yeah, and that's the next step for him now, isn't it? He's won twice on his week, but getting through to a, a grand finals on Champions Week, that must be the next target now. Yeah, absolutely, and I think we're week four now. He's got a long time to wait now, hasn't he? But I think, yes, it gives you something to look forward to. It's like, as a player, qualifying for a, qualifying for a World Championships or whatever, sometimes you've got a long wait until it gets there. But then you know what you've got when it gets there. You know what you've got to do. You know that you're there and you know you've got to put the hours in on that practice board to get those moments like he's had tonight. And again, just want a, a little word for how he's kind of harnessed this support here from what he did the first time. He mentioned how it came, just a quick comment off the cuff, and suddenly he's got an army of fans. Um, but that could keep growing. He could become something of a, a cult hero here. Absolutely. I mean, it, it only takes a small catalyst for you to get kind of noticed. And obviously, we all know what it was with regards to, with regards to Jimmy. And he, he's grown this fan base in this local area. But what I like about it as well is he takes the time to go out. He speaks to the fans. He, he shows that, you know, he obviously appreciates their support. And he's building up this big old fan base local to the Super Series. And he's using it to very, very good effect, I will say that. <laughs> Look, Scott, I don't know if it's coming home this summer. He's going home, but when he returns here, it will feel like something of a homecoming for him, won't it? Well, he's got nothing but great memories here, you know. It's, it's kind of weird what a venue can do for you when you've been playing well there. I, there's a little venue in Surrey that I absolutely love, but the five years before that, I was hopeless, and I've still got great memories from it. And, and Jimmy's building those memories here, and a lot of other players are as well. They enjoy coming back here, and they enjoy playing, and you see the best of them when they're here. Absolutely do. Well, thank you both for your company. I'll let you go home now, uh, but thanks for your company tonight. It's been a fantastic night here at the Super Series. Another really special evening. Jimmy Vansky, similar to last time, winning in style, but it's going to get even better next week. So do make sure you join us from 9.30 a.m. on Monday when two of our former series champions will collide. We'll see you then. Go, shut out the man!